Hey everyone, I am uh, Jan Zedek from Funcom. My name is Renato Oriana and I'm a designer from Petroglyph. And uh, we're here in London and uh, it is early morning right before the EGX Res show floor opens and we're going to give you a quick playthrough of some of the things that you can come to expect in Conan Unconquered. Conan Unconquered is a survival RTS and uh, we both each get a hero. I'll be playing Valeria. Mm -hmm. well, I'll be playing Conan. Yes, exactly. So this is me right here. Right there. And yeah, and then for the most part, the gameplay just kind of advances like you would in solo play, except we're going to have to talk it out more. So, like, for example, I'm going to build on the right. If you okay. build there, I swear. I will build, but I will build on the left. So, you, you call it a survival RTS. What makes it survival? Now, the part that makes it survival is that you are going to be constantly assaulted by enemies, right? And if you guys could see kind of at the top of the screen, you'll see a tracker. Right, and that generally tells you like what's coming at you. So when the when the wave icon reaches the left hand side, that's when the waves will gather at the edges of the map and they will come at you. What also makes it survival is that you're on a randomly generated map, and part of this is like kind of like what I'm doing now is that I'm exploring, trying to figure out where the resources are, right? Because since each map is different, you kind of have to get a lay of the land in order to. Um, whoop, and some dudes nope. um, in order to kind of so like <laughs> think about the strategies you're going to play out. And that's what these hero units are for early on in the game because you start off with you start off with absolutely nothing. You have your fortress and you have your, your hero units. And mainly what you want is uh, you want your heroes to uh, level up. Yeah. Right. Uh, basically, each hero has a unique ability, and they won't be able to access it until they at least reach uh, veterancy level one. Mm -hmm. So that's also kind of part of it, right? Yeah. So these hero units can be sent out to explore the map, and that's probably a good idea in the beginning because then you can uh, you can run into uh, creeps, I guess you call them. Yes, we call them creeps. Yeah. And build more hovels. Build more hovels. Okay. And you can also get more. Uh, you can get resources by destroying creeps and by destroying creep spawners. Okay. I'm gonna fall back now because, as you can see by the tracker, the yeah. wave is incoming. Uh, all right, sweet. You build a little healer thing. So we got a shrine because Mitra, you know, is... He's blessing us. He's blessing us with his blessings. Wow, that was <laughs> redundant. Redundo. So uh, when you're playing co-op, what resources are shared and what resources uh, belong to each individual player? For the most part, uh, the uh, if you can kind of see on the right-hand side of the screen, mm -hmm. the resources that go from gold all the way down to the star metal, the little purple icon, those are going to be shared. So every time that I build a hovel, you're going to receive uh, half of We're both going to split the gold from that. So it kind right. of uh, behooves us to work together. So, um, but, but that's that's the gold income per, per tick. So we don't, yes. like if I click here on this button, like you have more gold than I do. Yes. But every turn we both get 146 gold. Yes. Right. Yes. And we also share things like upkeep, right? Like later on, certain buildings will actually get, have um, We'll have a cost associated with them being out in the field. Oh, we, I gotta, we gotta heal full. Uh, they'll have a cost associated with them with being out in the field, and we'll also split that. Um, for the most part, you should only have to. The things that you don't share will be like you know, your units. Right. Oh, uh, they're coming from the saddle. Found them. Found them. Yeah, so they're going after Healing Shrine, but luckily our hero units are uh, pretty strong right now. Oh, they're also coming from the north. Oh, snap. All right, our, hero, our hero units are pretty strong, so Conan, for example, if I get him in a crowd, he will just do like a big swing with his uh, sword, and he should be able to take out a lot, uh, several enemies at once. Yeah. But uh, they're able to do some damage, especially to our hovels, which are uh, mostly pretty defenseless, and I can also see that my hunter shack over there is getting some. They're no, your hunter shack, sorry. Our hunter shack. This is a lot of enemies, so are the waves... I assume the waves are more difficult when you're playing uh, co-op? Uh, yeah, they are. Yeah. Alright, so we survived the first wave and we took some hits, right? Um, also, you could see that there's like a lot of bodies scattered. Now, that's kind of... that becomes kind of a thing later on, like when there's more enemies, because if too many bodies pile up, you'll actually start generating disease. Right. So what I did right now is that I hit the repair all button, because, you know, just to, to kind of start repairing all our stuff. Um, I'm going to continue building hovels because it's important to kind of keep that flow up. Um, another thing I'm going to do right now is uh, I'm going to expand our, our build area. So I'm going to use our battle standards in order to kind of expand it and then we'll be able to build up. We'll yeah. be able to build up further. Go ahead. Now, this has its benefits as well as it has a downside. Like the benefit is that uh, command uh, battle standards provide you uh, a, resource, a resource called command, right? Um, and it, uh, aside from also expanding the area. The downside is that you expand the area, now you have more to defend. 
Yes. Right, yeah. which makes it a little, you know, now, now you're running from base to base, you know, whenever there's an emergency. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to basically um, expand out in order to kind of find a choke point and maybe start building some defenses. All right, so, I'm gonna build the training grounds because. Okay. Yeah, so I've been building up uh, some units here. And as you can probably see, the buildings are colored based on our respective colors. So we each control our own armies. So there's yeah. our, there are certain things that are shared and there are certain things that are uh, sort of not split between us, but which belongs to, to uh, one of us. Yeah. Rather than to both of us. How about you pay for the marketplace? I am. Research marketplace. Thank there we you, go. sir. Um, I also built a farm because we need. I needed more food. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I know it's going to eat up a bunch of uh, a bunch of our gold costs. Counter that by building more hovels. Yeah. Actually, if you could upgrade to dwellings now. I can start doing that, and I will just start uh, yeah. start doing that for as many as I can. So what I did there was I selected a hovel, I double clicked it, and then I clicked the button to, to upgrade it. Now, what did the double clicking do? That clicked uh, that selected every exactly. uh, every building of that type. Yep, and then the upgrade button will try to upgrade as many as, as were selected, and it will do it in the order that they were placed. So the oldest buildings get upgraded. Ah, that's really neat. And then, of course, yeah, that will give me a bit more thrall resources. It will give me uh, some more gold as well. So uh, as you can see in the once you hover over uh, each of your resources, it tell you tells you where everything is coming from and how much of it you uh, you have left. Now we are waiting for wave six of twenty five. As you can tell, that since we're in time suspended, that gives us a little time to kind of like plan our strategy. Yeah. So it's a kind of nice uh, thing to have. Some of the things we've done so far is we've built up a bit of an economy. We've yes. built up a training ground to train units. We've built up some some research. We've made it to, I think it's like the mostly the second tier in the tech tree. Roughly, yeah. Roughly. And uh, we're gonna see if we're able to survive against wave six, which is uh, a lot of nomad spearmen, a lot of nomad javelineers, and one Stygian necromancer. And right, because you know, you always need skeletons in there. Yeah. So the Stygian necromancer can bring uh, dead warriors back to life, which isn't great. No, not for and us anyway. I mean, it's great for him. I mean, I'm sure his mom is pretty proud that. You here know. all the dudes come. Yeah. So Conan has a special ability that allows me to take out bunch of units at the same time which is excellent but now uh conan unfortunately has fallen in battle what yeah and uh, he's gonna take about a minute to respond so we'll see if uh see if any of my uh, my dudes here are gonna make it through it does not look like it i'm sorry ren but you're on your own are and, you serious dude yeah. are we just getting are but, we uh some of your javelineers are helping me out but, how are they uh, doing though how are they doing they're, emotional? Right. Oh, I see. Right now they're they just are standing. not helping. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. All right. So I'm going to put them in the tower there. That yeah. should kind of give you a help, uh, a little. But uh, how did you lose your dudes? Uh, I just sent them in, and then you know all the all the javelineers just sort of carved up my uh, my. Yeah. My Again, that's packs. there. That them there is the RPS, yeah. right? Like some. Um, Melee uh, range will beat melee. Yes. But I think we're almost there. We survived. So I'm going to let you clean there's, up. Right. Uh, there's a couple of dudes down here, I think. There's a red spot. Yeah, there we go. Red spot. He's going to take care of those. Yeah. Conan's going to cut his head off. Boom. Dunzo. And that's the way done So yep. there's three groups now coming from the north, from the north, from the northwest and southeast. And uh, right now we're not we're not looking too hot because we don't have all that we don't have that many people around. Right, but I did veteran up some of my javelineers, like one. Yeah. So again, uh, that's kind of one of the things that you want to do here. Like your units are not really throwaway. Yeah. Um, you want to make sure that they get experience by killing things and that they will level oh, up. Oh, they're, 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 more, they're more still the rest of the way. You know what? Yeah. I'm not saying that you didn't do your job. I didn't do my job. <laughs> but uh, Conan's coming in. And he's okay. going to just wreck fools. Wreck fools, please. But yeah, as you said, like units aren't, it's not like in uh, some other real time strategy games where you just, you just build up a bunch of dudes and you just sort of send them in. Uh, sort of like lambs to the slaughter style. There's no like, there's not like a stack of doom here or anything like that. You need to really uh, think things through on how you strategize, what kind of uh, units you're building, uh, what kind of units they're attacking, because you have a rock paper scissor uh, combat setup with uh, uh, range unit being stronger versus melee units, and melee units being strong against cavalry units. And then I assume cavalry units are good against uh, ranged units. Yeah, because yeah. they can get there quicker. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to mop up the rest of this. Please mop up. And the seventh wave is going to make to us pretty soon. Okay, so this one has horsemen. It's also got fire javelins. 
Um, this is gonna be a tough wave. Now, horsemen, uh, again, uh, if you have any swordsmen, uh, or let's start building some swordsmen, because they will okay. definitely cut through that cavalry. Uh, okay, cool, and you're building those at the mark? No, that's the command tents, sweet. I'm researching command tents, yeah. Good, good, because, good, good, good. Uh, all right. So all of these resources, I'm just pausing time again. Okay. Anytime you want, you can just pause time, suspend it completely, and then take a breather, take a moment, start building things, start training things, and then hit space again. True. The four resources on top here, they are flat resources, meaning that if I spend them, then I will have to build something in order to get them back again. Whereas all these other resources here, they will, uh, I will get some of them, well, I will get them back as time passes. You can see yeah. time passing right here. Uh, so gold, for example, and animals, and wood, and then stone, and iron, and star metal will eventually replenish if I have the necessary buildings to replenish those resources as time goes by. I'm going to place some stone, a quarry, oh, I'm going to place it there. And so certain buildings that provide you with resources need to be near those resources. Like So this farm, for example, in order to provide us with food, needs to be near water. A lumber camp needs to be near lumber in order to provide us with lumber. Here they cometh! Oh yeah, here they come. In the top right and the top left. Do you want me to send some people? Yeah, um, I'm just gonna send I should be, well, if you have people, yes. If not, take care of what you got, because those flamethrowers, man. Oh wait. I got, yeah, I got... I mean, you got people. I got Kush coming in. <laughs> That's what they're called, right? They're horsemen, yeah. yeah I don't know Kush what you're at. All right, so here I'm going to use uh, my swordsman to kind of aggro and give some... Uh, give my javelins time to get into the tower. Get in there, girl! No! Oh, this okay. is bad. I am surrounded by horsemen. And my poor swordsmen are sort of struggling. Let's hope that they Remember, like, don't keep them in a group, right? Like, you can move them around. Yeah, I'm trying to do that, but, like, I'm... I think I'm still used to, like, the old way of playing strategy games where you just sort of push people in and then you hope for the best. <laughs> well, that's why you could pause time and you could give yeah. them orders. I right? can do that. You could kind of, like, push some guys back. So I kind of found that kind of neat, right? Because generally your micro would have to be on point. Yeah. Um, when you're playing this, you could actually pause right mm. take a breather and then micro uh, all right i'm gonna unpause do it Boo. valeria's doing her best the walls are holding off some of the enemy however the north has been breached and the horses oh, are no. coming in oh no uh and i'm about to lose this tower because it's not only at the same time being besieged but it's also on fire <laughs> oh, ouch yeah fire bad because oh, fire spreads yes oh i leveled up Level two, 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 two. Nice. Yeah, Conan is getting there as well. So units have veterancy, and so when they go into combat and they're able to start killing dudes, then they will uh, eventually start leveling up and get more, uh, get stronger. The the waves get pretty, it gets pretty hairy. But I think we've we've done pretty well so far. We, we survived. Wave we, defeated. We, oh. we made it through seven waves. That, that was, is pretty pretty that good. That was butt clenching. <laughs> Should we maybe build a stockyard so we can create well, cavalry? I don't want to do pause else? you here, but we're under attack. Like the waves oh. are incoming. They are absolutely. Yes. Yeah, they so are. there are more guys coming in from the north. So I'm going to take care of those. Oh, and then we've got people attacking my. Oh, here. breached! Sorry. Oh my uh, god. He's okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, you're you're bad oh, off. You are bad off. off. Sorry. What do you mean I am? We are. We are. Sorry. I'm going to send right. Conan up here. I got 14 seconds until my alt. So I'm going to need some backup here, friendo. Yeah, Conan's coming. I'm sending out some... Okay. I don't think I have any units left. Right. Oh, so, they started raising the dead. As you can see, we got the Harryhausen type skeletons coming out. Rah! I just hopefully... Hopefully Conan is able to take care of some of these uh, necromancers. Because then you might want to fall back or, or spin if possible. Yeah, I already used my spin. Oh, but, uh, Conan is gonna fall. Whoops. Rip. Alright, I'm gonna kick this dude's ass as well. Oh, well, we actually have a wall breach. Again? Oh, well, yeah, I see only a, one not, dot. It's okay. not a bad one. Well, it's not bad. Let's start repairing because the next wave is falling upon us. This is wave nine. This has, okay, this has winged demons. That's bad. That that's, so bad. <laughs> that's so bad. That's so bad. That's so, so bad. We may have made things a little too uh, difficult. Towers, for ourselves. towers. You're gonna need some towers, you're gonna need some jabs. You're gonna need to put them in those towers because. Those yeah, those stupid winged demons just wreck everything. They fly over walls because they're flying jerks. So I'm gonna try to repair here the north. Um, I'm gonna try to wall this up as quickly as possible. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna be a thing. That um, battle standard is finishing building. Oh wait, maybe I can do. I can build it up. Oh. Okay, but I think I was able to. 
kind of cover up this area. Down here over there. Oh. Oh. Up a little bit. Oh no. People coming in. We from got spiders. The south. We got spiders. We got spiders in a wall that's not fully built. Huzzah. I'm gonna send this dude here. Conan, just, just, just get out there, Conan. Alright. Just get oh, just like we got a breach, boys! We got a breach. Can I actually wall us off before uh, right. uh maybe? No, these are some maybe, mean units. Maybe Conan's just gonna go and Step. try to cut people. Alright, so I try to wall off. Now one important thing here is that like even though even though I had in, uh, you know, command all the way out to a certain point. Right. Enemies will actually pu push back your command until they're destroyed. So you can't like build right on top of the dude. Yeah. So what I tried to do was fall back and kind of build the wall. I wasn't able to. I was able to build some sort of like kill zone. At least that's what I'm gonna call it. Now that I'm like hitting my ability and now starting to shred everybody. Yeah. But Valeria's gonna die, dude. So I don't know how you're doing down there, down south. Uh, um, they're they're it's coming along. And I'm done. I just need okay. To, oh, we had yeah, a bridge. They're demon. up top. They're up yeah. top. All right, I'm gonna bring my, my dudes up. They're reaching Fortress Prime! Oops. All right, I'm gonna see if I can create some more units, maybe? Conan's yes. coming up. Oh. <sighs> this isn't looking too good. Not particularly. Yeah, they're taking down all our lumber camps. They are going after our marketplace. But Conan has joined the fray. Do it, The marketplace Conan. has been destroyed. Just go spin. Get go those get jabs. Get him, Conan. Get him. Get him. Just get in there and just like... Just dance. Boom. That's good. But now Conan is probably going to fall. Oh. He did. No, he jumped right. on his own blood as he went down. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try to pump out some more spearmen and see if something happens. But we've got another wave coming in and it's, it's already obscured by the oh, sandstorm. Oh no, sandstorm's wave, yeah. man. I think, uh, I think, I think got... maybe this next wave is the one that's going to do it on us, unfortunately. Oh, oh and there comes the weather change. So yeah. now the storm's hitting and oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. So, uh, I think this is it. This is gonna be it. This is gonna be the last one. All right, let's just let's just see how far we make it. If we beat the if we beat the wave, awesome. If we don't, then at least we went down fighting, right? That's right. And we made it to ten waves on twenty five waves co op. Mm -hmm. That is pretty. In my opinion, that is pretty good. Yes, sir. So oh, they're awesome. already here. Oh, you oh, yeah. found all of them. <laughs> I did. Oh God, there are so many people. All right, uh, Conan. Holy balls. My uh, my javelineers are doing their best. But it's uh, it's not doing much. All right, Valerius, you're gonna help you on the other wall. We're gonna take nice. out these horses and nice. putting some jabs behind the braziers. And now they're think, attacks yeah, you, are lit on fire. You've got necromancers and you've got a king's oh, fighter. Oh god, necromancers! Getting the necromancers. Screw everything else. The necromancers are a pain in the ass. Conan is just carving people up with his sword. The sandstorm has blown through and it has unearthed a bunch of treasure chests or resource chests. Conan has fallen. I'm out. Valeria has we, fallen. We also have necromancers <laughs> coming in. Raising the dead, raising skeleton warriors. I think maybe oh, this is the end of the kingdom. Oh, you're back though! Am I? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Conan! Conan. You just need a couple spins, dude. I have a good feeling about this. Stinging I want you necromancer. to put it all on black and then spin that roulette wheel. Oh, Take care of the necromancer. Oh, just kill it. Nice. All right, necromancer is down. Yes. This is that time we have to do those speeches where it's like, look, we didn't come here to die. Look, I got three will. soldiers left. That's fine. You know what? I got Valeria, and I'm gonna ginzu these horses. You can't stop me. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna just make so much roast beef right now. Okay, if you think you so. Don't even know. Oh, I, I think so. I know so. Oh, are we in a bad position? Because the next wave actually has catapult. It has a corpse catapult. Oh god. So you actually have a catapult that will launch dead things inside your base. And then so spread that disease. It spread disease. Yeah. yeah. You know, because what disease does? It slows your people down. We barely scratch the surface. I feel uh, when it comes to things that we can, uh, things that we can build and units we can train and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this look at uh, Conan and Conquered. Uh, thank you very much to Renata for joining me. Thank I'm Zedek from Funcom, and uh, see ya.